This is Dr. John Ritkin giving you a talk about peptides to kill cancer, PNC27. Now this is totally fascinating. Listen to this one. This is fun. First of all, some basic biology about how your cell works. Every cell in your body has a watchdog called the P53 gene. And what it's doing is it's watching your cell and the DNA to see if there's broken DNA. Broken DNA is a problem. You can repair some of it, but you can't repair too much. If you get too much, the P53 gene says, okay, time for that cell to wrap it up and go through orderly cell death, and your body gets a new liver cell, heart cell, wherever it's being replaced. That's normal biology. Cancers have a lot of mutations, and so they've got to do something about that P53 gene. And in fact, virtually every cancer does. They've inactivated or silenced the P53 gene, which leads to the dilemma that cancer cells aren't, by and large, multiplying too fast. They're living too long. They don't know when to die. And what they've got is another protein that comes along and essentially refolds, sort of like cellular origami, refolds the P53 gene, making it unavailable, un, un, unavailable for, for use. And there's some question about whether it's sequestered or refolded or whatever, but it's not there. Well, turns out we now have a peptide that binds in the binding site of the protein that inactivates it. Did you get that? A little peptide that sticks in the, in the gears and basically makes it so they can't refold or inactivate the p53 gene. The p53 gene becomes active. Cancer cells find themselves with the watchdog. It's like the, hen, the, the fox in the chicken coop. The watchdog becomes active again. Cancer cells die incredibly quickly in petri dishes. The problem is we humans aren't petri dishes, but this has great promise and may be used with other things. It may have a context for maybe an adjunct with cancer, but a peptide with no toxicity, no side effects, simply activating your normal cellular mechanisms to kill off cancer cells, this might be an amazing opportunity for chemotherapy. You're looking for something alternative to toxic chemotherapy? Might it be a last ditch stand? Might it be something? We don't know. It's being used widely in the Far East right now. And it's now become available from compounding pharmacies in America at pharmaceutical grade. Let me repeat, no known toxicity, provided it's made pharmaceutical grade and not, and not by some shoddy back alley place. So, in fact, the FDA made a warning about some place that issued it and people got sepsis. But that's not the point with pharmaceutical grade folks. What will work for me? Well, I have lots of cancer patients in my practice. I'm going to talk to them about it. We need to, I'm just aching and itching to find real research that shows us where it might work clinically, what kind of dosing, what kind of schedule. Uh, the cost isn't terrible. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about PNC27 and cancer therapy.